happening, humans, whoever you are, whatever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Good to have you back on channel, and today's video is a pretty rare one, actually. I've never done a video on this tank before, well, not for a long time, I've not even mentioned it. And this is the KV-220 beta test. Um, it's a tank that a lot of people don't even know exists, and in, in fact, it's a tank that not a lot of people have seen in game uh the tank was originally given out as a beta test reward i'm lucky enough to have one and i figured i'd finally drive it and do a video on it now i want to break down why it's so different to the normal kv1 which it resembles enormously one of the things that will stand out immediately is the length of the tank uh, you can see versus the kv1 there it's a longer larger vehicle it also has the primary difference of having 25% more side armor. So instead of the 75 millimeters of the KV-1, you get a 100 millimeter side armor, which allows you to have absolutely whopping over angles while, while side scraping. And it's one of the reasons why the tank is so feared at this tier, because that allows you to get up to mid 200s worth of armor when you angle and side scrape. Plus it's got, you know, big tracks in it so i thought it might be worth having a look at this tank in action and giving you an idea on just how it performs at a tier that is uh currently i'll let you in on a little secret i look to go and do a video on the the event tanks and i just couldn't bring myself to do it <laughs> like i i was at this tier and half the teams were uh you know birthday tanks and i was like oh, i'm done with this shit I'm, I'm just, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to punish him for having the temerity to play tier 5. So I thought, what will I play at tier 5 to uh, highlight just how much fun it is to go down to tier 5 and seal club people? And I thought, oh, hang on. Is there a better tank to seal club tier 5 than the KV to, uh, KV-220 to beta test? And I, I honestly don't think there is. And this is me showing, like a KV-1 can be used to this effect as well but the kv220 has that just insane side armor which allows you to put these big over angles on and the only way you're going to get penned is if they get a look at the upper deck or the lower glacis now there are two weak strips the key here is that at tier five not many people have those kind of guns that can really easily take advantage of pinpoint weak spots on a heavy tank. So even when you over angle too much, and I mean this guy behind me, I'm like, dude, come on, give me a break. Just let me go. Um, that's my fault, by the way. Over angling, wide open. I didn't think that guy would pop out, but he, he did. He popped out. And we get another shot here at our Amigo. 141. Get pinned for 45? I think that was the Matilda doing me through the turret. I was like, are you serious? Righto. But look at this side armor. Look at that side armor. This is what I'm talking about. So if you ever see this tank side scraping, and you will rarely see the KV-220 beta test, then do not approach. Like, its side armor is absolutely nuts. Now, its, it's gun is nothing special. Uh, you have a 76mm ZIS-5. A lot like driving a KV, uh, KV-5, which runs the, uh, the ZIS gun as well, a 310 Alpha lower lower uh, alpha gun rather than the bigger gun you get on the other tier 8 Russian heavies. And that stands to reason here. The KV-1 has a better pen gun, 120 millimeters of pen, and a lot bigger alpha, 200 alpha. But the DPM, there's only, you know, 5% difference in it. And to be honest, this tank is more about being able to deal with people uh, that have low armor profiles anyway. There's not... There's not a huge amount of tanks that you're going to struggle to pen. I'm going to show you one more game in this. I did play quite a few games in it because I started playing and I was like, oh, oh, I forgot how much fun this tank is. <laughs> I forgot how much fun it is to have over 200 millimeters of armor angled at tier five and, and how frustrating it can be for people who have to deal with it. Now, it is typically Russian in its response time and its turning circle. But at this tier, it is like a land mass in and of itself. And especially when driven aggressively. Now, 
I'm a big fan of teams that all go together up to the top of the map here on Black Goldville, and this is no exception. But this is actually ends up being a pretty close game, and we have to do a lot of wet work in the middle to get the job done here. Uh, you can see, again, just uh, there are absolutely everywhere there are event tanks. And that's fair enough. And I, I do think we should applaud Wargaming for this event. It gave you free tanks. It really increased the load on the servers. Got a lot of people playing the game and a lot of people to come back to the game. And I mean, I give Wargaming lots of stick. I've done videos a lot of late, uh, voicing some displeasure with uh, balance issues and with uh, all kinds of things. And yeah, they, they did a good job here. So... Hats off to them, and, and thank you very much. Uh, this guy gets me twice through the turret, which I thought was very interesting. Um, like the KV-1, the turret on the KV-220 is not spectacular. Uh, and you can see he got me on the turret ring once. The turret ring, for God's sakes. And, um, and he got me there again. Second shot, which is not something that regularly happens with this tank. Uh, in fact, it's, it's pretty hard to make that shot. And I was... I was impressed. I'll be, I'll be honest with you. I just thought he did really, really well. Uh, we're going to have a look now as I've put myself in a very aggressive position. And I'm going to have to start chewing because I've bitten off so much that if I don't start chewing, I'm basically going to choke to death. This KV-1 has to go. There is no way around it. He is in a horrible spot. I don't want to see him there. And there's that thin strip that's available to pen on the KV-1 just between the tracks on the lower glacis. It's not actually even the whole of the lower glacis. It's just that strip. And then there is another strip above it. And that, that is a very, very famed chassis. That's the chassis you get in the KV-1, the KV-1S, the KV-4. Like it, it's, it basically, it's the evolving Russian tank chassis of our time. Uh, and here we go. Just trying to clear bad boys uh, who are doing all kinds of nasty things to us. Thank God that T-25 didn't turn around and start focusing me. And that's one of the things about this tank. A lot of people just don't understand how strong a tank it is. I'm not sure what I do here. Uh, I managed to miss. Good on that Defender series of tanks. Good on them. Um, but we managed to tidy up here and actually clean up on aisle 9. And then we just start farming over here from behind the uh, this big bad boy. I want to get rid of the tank that's most likely to pen me, but then I can't get a good shot on. He starts paying attention. Uh, the Y5 T34 over there does seem to have very solid pen numbers, but we're in a superb position here. And that Y5 cannot repeat the uh, the dose from earlier and get a, a good, easy pen in. He's using the AP rounds as well. He's not gone to the Premo, which is unfortunate for him uh, because there is no way he is getting through this at that range without using premium ammunition. There's just It is a very, very red tank. And despite the fact that we've got damaged binoculars and tracks that wouldn't really hold up in a second-hand car showroom. We're going to get this one done, and we're going to get it done pretty handily. That's the KV-220 beat-up, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed that one. A look at a very, very rare tank, a tank that you don't see in the game very often at all. Until next time, look after yourselves and stay safe on Z Battlefield. Bye for now.